Okay, I'll turn the volume down here. Just a button. Just thought of a very, very quick video uh, tonight. Um, when I got home, I uh, did a little bit of LT Spice, which I'll show in a sec, to um, to finish off the product detector here. So again, it's essentially the same configuration as yesterday. Um, that was the original balance mod uh, balance mixer. Um, with again the RF coming from the amplifier, the uh, the VFO coming from the SI fifty three fifty one. And what I've done now is just replaced what was this sort of circuit here, uh, which was just with a muck around um, product detector using two J310s. I've sort of uh, now sort of um, remade it uh, and optimized it on LT Spice. Um, so you can see the two J310s there um, on their respective gates, uh, it turned out to be 100k. Um, Self-biasing resistors, uh, again 10 nanofarads coming in for the two, uh, the two gates. Um, no longer, as in the um, the balance mixer here, no longer having an inductor on the the final drain. Um, it's now a 1k ohm resistor, and the output of that is going into a um, a very simple audio pass filter here, um, and we'll check out the LT Spice pass on that. Um, audio is coming out and exactly no change so uh, you're seeing all that sort of very wide band noise coming through there uh, point to note also there is no pre-selector filter at the moment so whatever is coming in on the antenna is being amplified and passed through so absolutely zero pre-selection here for, for any of the bands um, 40, say again 20, 40 or 80 meters um, in terms of the LT Spice uh, that was the circuit I finished up on so again, there goes the two JFETs with the 100k ohm resistors uh, on their gates, and the 10 nanofarads, and coming in here is the, the IEF and then the beat frequency, which is the fixed, fre uh, the fixed frequency uh, being mixed. Um, on that final drain, uh, no longer, as you, as you mentioned before, no longer an inductor, it's now a resistor, and then going through to a simple uh, audio pass filter here. Um, at the moment, this is it's quite good. I will show the uh, the simulation in a sec, um, and passing through to the Teensy. So, if we just simulate that, um, we can see there that uh, at very very low frequency, so there goes 100 hertz there. Uh, we've got a bit of a drop off, and then um, but already in terms of an audio uh, speech, we're looking sort of 100, 200, 300 hertz here, 200, 300. So uh, that's not too bad, it's reasonably flat, and that's flat all the way out past uh, 20 kilohertz. So uh, that's good because again, we're going to do all that, um, we're going to do all the, the audio filtering in terms of bandwidth control in the Teensy, so um, I'm quite keen to get this as, as wide as possible. So anyway, that was just uh, just tinkering around there. Um, it was just a matter of playing around really with... Uh, with the audio bandwidth here um, and I did find that on the balanced mixer these were 10k but to uh, to get that much wider bandwidth um, it worked a lot better with 100k so again sort of the power of of using the LT Spice just to just essentially just play around and optimize the circuit um, but again what we've got coming through there we've got uh, 10 milliamps passing through the system so that's well within the specs of the um, of those devices so anyway let's just uh, have a bit of a play around um, I think at this stage of the game yeah 80 meters is a little bit quieter today which is quite nice so I think at this stage of the game I will probably start now to have a bit of a tinker around with the um, some software on this just for something different um, and then once we get that, I can do one of two things here. I can either, um, which I might play around with. There's two different ways. I can I can have selectable, selectable bandwidth, 
for example 2.8 kilohertz or maybe hi-fi so to speak make that say 3 kilohertz uh, maybe 2.2 and then with the CW 700 hertz and maybe a 200 hertz filter so I could make those selectable selected through here um, or the other option is I um, I use a pot and we have a variable one so we can actually just on the fly vary it from wide down to narrow so um, two different ways of doing business there so I might have to play around with both uh, one uses in terms of the libraries the audio library within the Teensy, um, oh, we're going to do it here, but there's, there's different ways of doing it, so I think for the sake of playing around, uh, we'll do that. But yeah, um, it was mentioned in, in one of the comments that, yeah, it's amazing how little hardware is required to to get, you know, a very simple um, super hit going. It's um, you know, literally RF amps coming in, these obviously got gain, which is good. Uh, and going through to a um, to an amplifier here, it's, um, it doesn't take much at all. But um, I do like these uh, SI fifty three fifty ones. It's it's such an easy thing to use with the the ITC um, communications. And uh, these are in parallel here in terms of the communications links. It's got different addresses. Uh, it just makes things so much easier to use. Anyway, I won't uh, belabor this. I will um, jump off. And uh, like I say, if there's any questions or anything that wants elaboration on, please sing out. Uh, if you're finding these a bit excessive, again, just tell me. Um, I, I enjoy tinkering around and I'm, I'm trying to sort of hopefully encourage others to do the same. So I shall leave it here, 73s, and uh, we will catch you in a couple of days' time.